Welcome to Wimpole. Wimpole is a great place to visit, but it's also a working farm. But not only that, our farm is a profitable farm and we farm with nature and wildlife in mind. On my right is a crop of rye. This is milled and goes into products like Rye Vita. But on my left is a margin. Every field at Wimpole is surrounded by a six metre margin, which provides great space for nature. You can see the flowers here, which is great for the bees, but also great for the birds as well. This field used to be an enormous field, 65 acres. But either side of this field are woodlands that are really important for very rare species of bat. So what we did at Wimpole was split this enormous field into three fields by creating these wildlife corridors of margins and hedges. And this allows the bats to move easily between those two important woodlands. This area is what we call a fertility lay. And it's a mixture of crops, kind of like a salad of, of crops that we use to fix nutrients from the air into the soil. And that will allow us not to use artificial fertilizers for our crops. But with these fertility lays, we also love to graze them because the sheep do really well on these lays. This half of the field we haven't harvested for winter feed for our cattle. And that's because we know corn buntings are nesting here. Corn buntings are very rare. There's been a 90% decline in their populations over the last 40 years. So anything we can do at Wimpole to protect them, we try to do our best. Here at Home Farm we have several different breeds of rare breed Catalan sheep that we're farming on a commercial scale. Rare breeds are a lot slower growing and they struggle to compete in today's markets. One thing that they're particularly good at is working our parkland setting and grazing our conservational um, lays and our herbal lays. One thing that we really try and push here is that time equals flavour and to conserve we have to eat. We farm four different breeds of rare breed cattle. We have the Irish Moyles, which you can currently see, and we have the White Parks, the British Longhorn, and the Shetlands, all of which have drawbacks for the commercial setting. However, they are particularly good in the conservation side of things. We're getting good meat carcasses from our animals, and they're competing when we sell to a local supermarket. It's really important when we look at um, breeds and conservation that we also look at the genetic side of things so some of the family bloodlines that we have here are extremely rare and it's our job to conserve those bloodlines so anything that we're buying in or rearing needs to be TB free, BVD free, um, it needs to have an overall health and we spend a lot of time and money making sure that we purchase and rear the correct stock to make sure the breed continues. It's not just cattle that we rear here at Home Farm. We have goats, we have equines, and we also have the sheep. Sheep are a major part of our business here. Uh, seven different breeds are in rare breed flocks. Um, we pride ourselves in the quality of the meat that we have, and the sheep have a massive impact on the grazing of the parkland. Today is shearing day here at Home Farm. It's a really busy day. We get some contractors in that shear. It's very noisy, but it's done for welfare reasons to prevent fly striking our sheep. This is a field of organic spring barley, which will be used for organic beer. What is special about this field is that we've employed a technique called minimal cultivations, or min tillage. What that means is the less soil you move, the better it is for soil structure. So we've tried to reduce the soil movement in this field by not ploughing it, and instead just cultivating it before planting the crop. This is a crop of wheat, and there are a few weeds in it, but not all weeds are equal. I do quite like these poppies. Not only are they great for pollinators such as bees, but they look really pretty. And this field is in fact on one of the many footpaths of Wimpole Estate. So I really encourage you to get outside, especially in this time of year, and see how pretty the estate looks, not just in the parkland, but also in the arable land. If you ever eat a slice of cake or one of our famous scones in the National Trust, there's a really good chance that the flour used to make that product came from wheat grown at Wimpole. And this is a field that we'll harvest in August to produce more of that flour. 
Our hay meadows at Wimpole are stuffed full of orchids and flowers such as yellow rattle, which the bees, butterflies and insects absolutely love. To make sure that these are even better next year, we won't cut any hay until all those flowers have shed their seeds to ensure that there's more seeds for the following years to come. One of the crops we grow at Wimpole are peas. Now we really like peas because they're really clever plants that they can fix nutrients in the atmosphere and put them into the soil, which is great for the crop that will follow them. But also their flowers are great for pollinators like bees. And finally, they're a profitable crop for us. We will harvest these peas, and if you're ever eating organic peas, there's a chance they could be from Wimpole. Many of you will feed birds in your gardens. Well, this is our equivalent. We plant crops that will produce lots of seeds for birds to eat, and we won't harvest them. So during the winter time, the birds have got somewhere where they can get something to eat. In our winter bird food plots, we've got loads of different plants which the birds love during the winter. We've got sunflower, quinoa and millet, mustard, and a wide range of things like barley, wheat and oats. So this is Lady, one of our homebred shires that lives here at Wimpole Home Farm. All the shires work pulling the carriage around the estate uh, we also run experience days for people to come and learn how to handle the horses and uh, we're just moving into some agricultural display work with them as well. Just working lady in front of our new stables which we've just moved into a few months ago. Um, we've been lucky enough to have five new stables, two new stalls and a new purpose-built warm water wash box installed for the horses which are not only welcome, better facilities for the horses um, but also enable the visitors a much better view of the horses um, and enable them to see us working with them on a day-to-day -day basis when they visit uh, the farm. So uh, please come and visit the horses in their new stables. Welcome. Good girl. Good girl. Welcome. There's so much more to Wimpole than the house, gardens and home farm. I really encourage you to get out into the wider estate and see in the flesh how we farm for profit but also for wildlife at the same time.